Melissa from Tulisan, and um, I was born and raised in Indonesia. I was um, I was studying graphic design. Uh, I had my own design studio in LA, like for 12 years. Um, and then, like in 2006, my family and I decided to move back to Jakarta. Tulisan is something that uh, I've always wanted to do for a very long time. I was born and raised uh, inside this. Um, colonial house belonged to my grandmother and she was a seamstress for the um, Dutch expatriates community and uh, she had this very like creative um, like sewing stu studio in her studio uh, there were many many like cushion covers and then there were many blankets hats dresses um, and it was really fun to watch her and then also my uh, m my two parents are both very creative. My father uh, loved photography, loved to, to develop photography, and uh, he used to like um, to draw. He used to draw logo and lettering himself. He was actually the, the first person who introduced me to calligraphy. He taught me many of these like tricks, many like basic design uh, tricks. But he wasn't a designer. He just teaching himself these uh, tricks. And then my mother, uh, she was uh, an artist in her heart. Uh, she was always into making things, uh, refurbishing old furniture, and then she likes to decorate uh, interiors. So, and I was, rem I remembered my childhood of like just surrounded by this really creative family. So, when I was growing up, I was always sketching. Um, my uh, mom and my dad really encouraged me to sketch I mean she they always um, they never deny my request for like uh, watercolor um, pens for sketching um, sketchbooks and they were always encouraging me um, to go to pursue my my passion in the art and that's when I decided to take on um, graphic design as a profession So the concept that I have with Tulisan is that every product that we uh, that I carry here um, has a story behind it. Um, it starts with a story, um, and um, every illustration uh, basically has several generations. So, for example, like uh, this story. This is about um, this is a story that I took from uh, a folk. Uh, an Indonesian, a traditional Indonesian folk story. It's about um, Admiral Casaro. Uh, I retold the story and made it into these uh, prints, basically. And it's got it would this prints would be translated into several into several versions. Um, and uh, the same, like from this from the plants, for example, this plants we have uh, we have. Uh, a print edition which is like these type of products these products so our store I mean the whole collections of our products is divided into five different categories so this is called, this one is called the atelier box the atelier box is my favorite items in my whole collection because and I always I never miss a series because uh, every month we always come up with new colors and it's usually bright simple colors and to me this is like a toolbox for women it's just a simple box it's just a simple box and inside it it's got four side compartments and it's kind of sturdy. Um, it's got a very durable, water-resistant uh, inner uh, inner lining. And, uh, 
for me, I use it uh, to somehow organize my stuff. It can, you can use it to store your laptops, your like scrapbook materials, watches, um, and then you can use it to store like your um, hobby kit. Um, sometimes your paint, um, your paint materials. So I kind of organize it uh, with the different content, and then when you store it inside your cabinet, you can you suddenly have all these color coded like compartments, and to me it's like my second bag, because when I go to like say when I go to the gym or something, I would have like um, I would have one that has all my sports uh, equipment, but then. Uh, when I want to go and paint, I would have I would take one where it's got like my paint equipments, and then when I when I want to read, I, I actually have one that has all my books, my favorite books in it. Okay. Uh, I I like to think of myself as a twelve year old. <laughs> I mean, I don't know I. I mean, I know I, I'm a mother of two, but inside I feel like I never grow up, you know? I, I want to always explore and I, I always want to see everything upside down, you know? And uh, I always imagine like hanging in a swing with my head upside down. And to me, th that's, that's my reality. <laughs> One person asked me. One person asked me, like, if um, if where I get my stories or where I get my ideas, and it's very hard for me to 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 answer them because almost it, it to me like every morning there's new story for me. Of course, it's a lot of work and stress to do to do the business or something, but it's really. I mean, to be really honest. It's really a playground for me, and um, uh, one thing that really is um, what, what I really aspire to do is that uh, I really um, I I always want these um, dreams inside my head to be a reality, like these um, these uh, funny creatures, these uh, you know. These elephants, this I always imagine these animals to be like giants, giants like five, 50 times my size, and they would be my friends, you know. I always see that, them, and to me, because I really believe so much in these dreams, um, um, I think many people that ha that are like me, and I think there are a lot of people who are like me out there, um, kind of embrace my world because. I think we, we, we see things the same thing and I think that's kind of like uh, the passion that I share with my uh, the people who, who followed uh, Tulisan. Mm -hmm.